Hey folks, Father Sampati from CG Virus here. Today we're going to see uh, a plugin for Natron. So this one is called Proxy File. So uh, my teammates have uh, pointed out today that the read note, Natron read note proxy file has some bugs. Uh, it doesn't, uh, you know, show the downsampled file. Uh, for some reason I'm not sure is it a bug or we are doing something wrong but we have created a new plugin for that so let's see so how to download it is basically go to the, your natron github go to the download section and uh, here you will see the community plugin go there and uh, install that all right here are the installation uh, system so install it like that and uh, you are good to go so you will find this plugin in community plugin section there are March and this is the proxy file all right so I'm going to tap proxy proxy file yeah so uh, let's talk about this so let's connect it press control and here we go so this read file is an 3840.1714 almost 4k <coughs> and uh, this one is heavyweight so if I go to the disable yeah you can see that it's kind of heavyweight all right so if you want to downsample it you can use this guy so here we go all right uh, the first thing is let's go to the proxy file and uh, there are three modes you can hover on it it says preview to see how much downsample is needed it does not create proxy so this is the preview mode and uh, this one is called the proxy scale okay we can scale it down so before that everything uh, there is a two format so you can see that this is 3840 and 1714 okay let's choose this guy this will uh, uh, this will come to your uh, natural session automatically from your read node so you don't have to worry so there is go uh, 3840 and 1714 okay now we are seeing the down sample Right, so let's scale it down a little bit. There we go. Let me show you it like that. Plus F. There we go. Okay, so we're downsampling it. Okay, you can see the downsample. <coughs> so you can preview it that how much downsample it needs. All right, so let's let's not go extreme, let's go 0.2 or 0.3. Let's use 0.3. Okay some of that yeah this will work for our thing so we have determined that 0.3 will be our proxy scale all right so now we need to write it okay press F there we go so let's go to write here is a write note so this is actually a 1152514 file so if I hover around it, you can see that there are, uh, it says write. To write the proxy file, plug a write node with this node and in format type of the write node, use input format, then write it in disk. So how to do that is basically go to the write, press W, and uh, let's go to our proxy check proxy. Let's name it pg hash 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 dot jpg why jpg uh, because i'm using tiff all right uh, and tiff has srgb so i can use jpeg if you're using exr or raw i mean raw you can uh, you should use exr or raw okay so uh, the color space is very important here so i'm using jpeg as tiff is using srgb and jpeg also use srgb so yeah better use jpeg for it so let's and this pound sign, three pound sign, uh, is basically the index number. So 000, 000, 001, 002, 003, that's all. All right, so let's save it. There we go. So now we are in write node. This one is our write node. So what you have to do is basically connect it with this proxy file, okay, when it's in write mode. And uh, in the write mode setting, you can see that it says uh, the format type should be input format. In the right node so this is the format type just use input format now let's render and uh, let's wait all right the render is done so let's put the node graph you can it's up to you you can connect it or disconnect it doesn't matter so let's do the proxy file first 
and uh, in the proxy file uh, now we're going for read read mode and you need to select your read files here that means the you know the downsampled one so let's open it and refresh the button here we go so now it's in our proxy file all right see how fast it's so let's unconnect here we go super fast so now uh, let's talk about things here so uh, this is the two format two format is uh, preferable by default if you want to use other things like two box size you can use two box two box will determine how much so uh, how much uh, ROD it should use so if I use 3840 and 1714 huh, it will create the same thing but it will use some extra space so these are not actually uh, very much safe method also there is a scale you can scale it up scale it down this one is also not a very good method the the best method is use to format because this is using your uh, project format which is actually accurate so that's how you can work with it okay so this is the this now here is the use proxy file <coughs> use proxy file is if you uncheck it you can see your original read format if you check it it will give you uh, the proxy format here so uh, let me see press f yeah use proxy uh, uncheck use proxy it's using your original file use proxy it will use your downsample file okay pretty easy pretty easy concept also you can do this from here press D to disable it and it will read your own file so now let's collaborate it uh, first of all uh, these uh, tiers of steel has some NN value in color correction or things uh, I don't know uh, if it's a problem but uh, let's do a color correction it will give you some NN value e even in raw format it gives you some NN value I don't know I don't know so let's go to saturation let's go to contrast gamma something like that so now it's using proxy file for your things so if you undo that it will use your original file uh, I, I mean not undo uh, what I'm saying uh, uncheck the use proxy file then it will use your original file you can see it's very much loady and if we uh, that's it and that's what I was talking about <laughs> the color creation problem yeah always so uh, if I'm going to use proxy file it's not it's not a fault of Natron by the way there uh, is some compression things I did <laughs> earlier so it was pretty much silly so uh, just avoid it not a problem so it's proxy file uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. so that's it that's how you can work with it now let's talk about this guys free uh, file pre mold out pre mold uh, doesn't matter for this one output RGB doesn't matter frame rate pretty much important so let's go to s if your frame rate is 30 suppose if it's 30 and your read note custom FPS is also 30 your proxy file frame rate should be 30 pretty much logical you know and uh, and there is file color space the file color space is forcing the file color space because uh, uh, your file color space will be determined by this extension so dot jpeg uses srgb so not a problem so i'm just going to uh, color three yeah all right yeah so where we are yeah and uh, the file color space is using SRGB automatically you don't need to do anything but if you want to force it you can do it in read mode you can do it like uh, let's see raw yeah it will force the color space but it's not recommended okay and now it's always linear so let's go to SRGB and it will be back why SRGB because JPEG all right so that's how you can work with it uh, pretty much and uh, yeah 
so if you want to uh, make another proxy you can do it like that so let's go to the preview again and uh, let's use more downsample file something like 0.16 crazy downsample here going on uh, okay let's first go to the read file there are some things you can see that there are some pretty much good advantage using this thing uh, which is if I zoom out it will give you some resolution if I zoom in it will give you some resolution so yeah I'm not sure uh, uh, if this one is a good feature or not try it so yeah let's go to the proxy file and uh, let's use uh, preview and let's use some huge down sample something like uh, crazy down sample something like this there we go okay 0 0.114 so let's uh, do another right let's go to right there we go 483 crazy down sample so let's connect it to the proxy file again go here and let's render it again and I'm coming back all right it's done so let's go to the node graph you can disconnect it not a problem so let's do the proxy file now read it let's read it yeah there you go all right press D you can see proxy file so if you you if you're using a uh, very low res you know sometimes these artifacts can come uh, quite obvious because the ROD is not working properly here so you can refresh it you can go to this refresh button to refresh it yeah. the RD is not actually using uh, the things because uh, it's quite simple because it's a huge file so it's scaling should be <laughs> you know uh, the point one one four is crazy so use uh, um, the proxy scale should be 0 0.5 0 0.2 to 0.5 that is uh, recommended you know 0.2 to 0.5 is pretty good and uh, which is good yeah so that's how you can use it uh, I'm not sure if this feature will work uh, correctly right now because I am not in the production uh, I will do some production with it and uh, will try to debug it a little bit more but I think you can work with it pretty fine because it's not that complicated yeah so thanks again I'm father simple from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye